The diamond synchrotron in Oxfordshire is one of the newest and most advanced particle accelerators in the world. Here, electrons are accelerated to near the speed of light and the high energy electromagnetic rays then produced, called synchrotron light, can delve into the structure of matter at the atomic level. It means that this 45,000 square meter construction is really one of the most powerful microscopes in the world. And it's what you put under the microscope that matters. 40% of the work at the diamond light source is biomedical, so some of the most important discoveries may eventually come from biology, which is well represented by the BBSRC's Diamond Fellowship. This arrangement has brought Professor Soa Wata and his membrane protein laboratory to a new research complex undergoing development at Diamond. An expert in deciphering the molecular structures of proteins, Iwata hopes to unravel the proteins that span cell membranes using X-rays. A similar technique was used to determine the structure of DNA. A diamond light source, actually, and you know, I'm working on uh, structures of membrane proteins. And membrane proteins have you know, various functions. You know, sometimes these are receptors, these, sometimes these are transporters. For example, in this particular uh, research program uh, for BBSRC, we study uh, membrane transporters. Uh, more than 50% of membrane proteins are uh, major drug targets, and solving membrane protein structures certainly uh, facilitate uh, drug discovery, I think. Membrane proteins are a particularly interesting group of proteins because they are largely responsible for cell-to-cell -cell communication and they carry out critical biological functions which are of great interest to the pharmaceutical and biotechnology industries. So knowing the fundamental structure of them allows you to produce drugs which will interact with those membrane proteins and hopefully uh, lead to development of new treatments for patients. Something like membrane proteins uh, which is very difficult to handle the Close proximity to you know, the X-ray beam lines are quite essential. So I think having an MPL at Diamond is quite you know, uh, advantageous uh, for studying membrane proteins. It's taking advantage of working alongside the beamline scientists. So the innovations required in order to determine membrane protein structure will be done in collaboration with the people who actually operate the facility. Because protein molecule is very, very small, so you really cannot see them by eyes. So you need to magnify you know, the protein structure by, uh, by some means, the X-ray protein crystallography is uh, the one of the method uh, to do that. Right. Oh, some fundamental discoveries have been made using X-rays uh, to probe matter. For example, the structure of DNA was determined using X-rays. And also the structure of such important molecules as haemoglobin and myoglobin have been determined using X-ray structures. X-ray protein crystallography is not particularly new technique. The first uh, protein structure has been uh, solved in the 1960s. But, you know, the, of course now we are uh, solving much more comp uh, complex uh, protein structures like membrane proteins. So for this purpose, we need this, you know, cutting edge facility. So how does a synchrotron work? Electrons start their journey in a 30 meter linear accelerator and then pass into the Brewster synchrotron where they are accelerated by magnets in a vacuum to close to the speed of light. The electrons are then injected into a storage ring where they pass through specially designed magnets called insertion devices, which cause the electrons to deviate from their orbit, producing X-rays 100 billion times brighter than hospital X-rays. These X-rays are then channeled into the beamline experimental stations and pass through the target object. Similar to a hospital X-ray, the target deflects the X-rays, and these diffractions reveal the internal composition of the target, which a diamond can be as small as a crystallized molecule or as large as an aircraft engine. The idea behind the Diamond Fellowship is to locate a researcher or researchers very close to the major facilities to allow uh, better usage and, and uh, better developments associated with those novel facilities such as the Diamond Synchrotron, the ISIS Pulse Neutron Source and the high power laser facilities that exist there. Diamond was originally intended as a multi-user scientific facility, but our particular contribution in order to get good value for BBSLC, and particularly biology, is by appointing Zoe Water to this fellowship. Zoe Water made his name in determining the three-dimensional structure of membrane proteins using X-ray crystallography. Uh, and he has a very strong track record in this area. In fact, many of the uh, proteins whose structure has been determined have been determined by so and members of his team. I really want to be a link between Diamond Light Source and the life science community, which is, you know, uh, largely supported by BBSRC. Diamond Light Source is the, certainly one of the best you know, facilities, synchrotron radiation facilities in the world.